Hey guys, and welcome back to the Totally Random Talk Show. Now, I know we haven't done a podcast in a while. It's been a really busy summer, to be honest, but we're back again, and uh, we're excited to get started for you guys. Yeah, so uh, we're going to start with classic random topics, and today we're going to be keeping the theme of letter topics, so we'll be having six different Topics starting with the letter B. Alright, let's get started then. Okay, our first topic for you guys today is bananas. Oh, bananas are strange. Because they taste good, but they're also a weird texture, I feel like. I don't know. Sometimes they're hard to eat, but it also depends on what you eat it with. Yeah, I used to hate bananas as a kid. No offense, but like it just tasted really weird to me. But I like them now. They're good. So yeah, I think it all depends on when you eat it. I feel like if you eat a banana with like a hot dinner, say a soup, something like that. Yeah, it's not gonna strange. taste very good. Yeah, but if you eat it with like breakfast or have it as breakfast, then I feel like that makes it a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. And just, like, the way that a banana is, it's really cool because, like, you know, most fruits and everything like that, like peaches, oranges, apples, watermelons, cantaloupes, they all have the same thing in common. They're all round, but the banana (laughs) isn't. Yeah, wait. How many fruits are not round? No, but like it's weird to think about (laughs) so it is i don't know (laughs) oh pineapples well i guess yeah yeah they kind of are they are round like the fruit itself is round but like it's got the the spikes coming out of the top and stuff and it's all spiky around it so yeah bananas are definitely not round (laughs) yeah (laughs) They're what you call yeah. a weird shape. Yeah. They're just a banana shape. That's all they are now. So. Yeah. Our next but. topic is on boomerangs. So, why don't you get started? <laughs> so, first thing that comes to mind when you think about boomerangs is probably the fact that they always come back to you when you throw them. That's not necessarily true. Because if you throw a boomerang and you suck at throwing a boomerang, it might just go straight and then fall on the ground and not come back to you. But it, it all depends on, like, how you throw it, you know, and your aim and stuff. And uh, so, like, the people that are really good with boomerangs, they can throw them really well. And so it's actually fun to watch people throw boomerangs because you're like, wow, wow, that's so cool. I, I wish I could do that, you know. Yeah, and also, like, you see people using boomerangs, like, some for hunting. to like, kill animals with boomerangs. It's crazy. Why do you even yeah. do that? <laughs> it's like... You can't even throw one. so <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, boomerangs are really cool. I mean, there's different shapes and sizes of them. So, mm-hmm. like, I made a boomerang in school... And it was actually pretty functional, you know, it came back the general direction of me, but it didn't always come yeah. back to me. So, like, it did a full U-turn around, it was pretty cool to watch. Hey, but it's... Maybe U-turns are... Yeah, it's or like a... Prohibited. It's like a plus sign-shaped sort yeah. of thing. Kinda, but, uh... Kind of like a banana. Yeah, so... Like, a lot of boomerangs look like bananas. <laughs> I guess you could That's say. Like, weird, like, three ones? Like, they have, like, three sides? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Those ones are just weird. They're not really boomerangs. I, well, I mean, I guess they are, but not the usual, like, traditional ones that you see. They're weird to look at, but sometimes they're easier to throw. Yeah. And uh, in case you guys are wondering, I don't think that if you throw a banana, it'll come back to you. (laughs) 
Unless the banana is desperate. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please, don't throw me. <laughs> She'll, like, hit a tree and then, like, splat on the side of the tree and then, like, yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention bananas. Cartoons, people always slip on the peels. Which yeah. is pretty unrealistic, but it could happen. The chances yeah. of that happening are never zero. So <laughs> Yeah, if if the floor is like really waxed and there's a banana peel on the floor, you will guaranteed slip. But start skating on the bananas. <laughs> so our next topic for you guys today is on Batman. The classic crime fighting hero that wears a cape and likes the nighttime and bats and, and stuff. He's rich and uh, one thing that he can't save is his childhood, because his parents died. Oof. Ooh. That's, that's just a big ooh. His Feel number bad. one enemy bad. is like a weird guy that likes playing cards and laughing. And he's a clown. Yep. I mean, if you describe it that way, it sounds strange. But yeah. <laughs> it's very in-depth, and there's many comics and movies. With Batman. Yeah. I feel like when DC like made movies about Batman, um, like they were good and all, but I think their best movie they ever made was The Dark Knight, probably. Yeah. See, and it, the one thing about DC is that it is darker than like other superhero movies. So some people don't enjoy them as much, but yeah. they're not bad at all. No, they're pretty good. Except for the newer ones, like Justice League, I don't, I don't know anymore. Like that one was just weird. <laughs> yeah, it didn't make very much sense at all. Yeah, it really but, didn't. I mean, there's a lot of uh, games for Batman too. Like I yeah. have Batman: Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Those are both very fun. Um, I also have Mortal Kombat with the DC Universe, so that's pretty fun too. Yeah, and then also a lot of Lego games. Yeah. There's like DC villains, and then like three Lego Batman games, and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, so Batman is definitely a fan favorite, you can tell. Mm Mm-hmm. He's definitely the favorite for DC, and then I think for Marvel, it'd probably be like Spider-Man or Iron Man or something like that. Yeah, or even Captain America. I yeah. Think, like, the, the ones that you usually hear about in DC are, like, Batman, Robin, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and then, like, Superman. Because yeah. they're, they're, like, the five most well-known, I think, people yeah, usually I don't th- like them. I don't think no one ever thinks about the Green Lantern, or oh. Martian Manhunter, yeah. or... <laughs> People like I think that. Because of the Green Lantern movie. Though. Yeah, that, that movie was <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I didn't even finish watching it. I've seen like the first 40 minutes of it. <laughs> I watched the whole movie a long time ago and I forgot what happened. But... Yeah. I don't know, but people have liked the Wonder Woman movies a lot, too. Yeah, those are good. I like those. I think the newer DC movies have had kind of a curse, I guess you could say. Mm. They haven't been doing as well. Yeah. But, I don't know. You know. It depends on what you like. Yeah, that's true. So our next topic for you guys is going to be very interesting, actually. Bioluminescence. See, um, if you take the roots of this word, bio is for life, so like living, and then you have lumen, which is like light, and then I think sun was for something else, I can't remember at the moment, but so it's like living light, so like things that will glow, which is pretty cool, because there's a thing that there are animals organisms that can actually glow and it's natural yeah it's 
very cool actually and uh when i think of bioluminescence i often think of like plankton in the ocean and things like that because you know i always see like movies and it's just like a bunch of bioluminescence and stuff and it looks really cool actually yeah and like at night Of, just the water just glows and you can go swimming in the water and it's just, I don't know, it's so beautiful yeah it's just really cool it's a great thing to appreciate in nature you know? it's, it is natural yeah and then wouldn't you say that fireflies are also bioluminescent kind of in a way they are actually yeah because bioluminescence is just something that is living that can glow so you're right th- those would be like fireflies mm-hmm. it's not. It's even more interesting you know? yeah you know and i don't know there's just something about like natural light that just seems much cooler yeah it's it's very like it seems like magic because you wouldn't think well i mean the sun is natural light but but natural light coming from living things, because the sun isn't necessarily living. It's just mm-hmm. a big ball of gas that produces light. It's true. But, and that actually provides light for us to live and provide light, you know? Yeah. Because we made, like, our own synthetic lighting, which is interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so our next topic is going to be on basketball. Cool. It's back. (laughs) (laughs) On ESPN. Yeah, that's true. I think everyone's super happy about that, to be honest. Because that whole period where we just couldn't watch any sports, it just killed everyone. Not literally. (laughs) Hopefully not. Yeah. I mean, during that point, people were, like, watching marble races, too. Like, like go, go, go. Marbles are, like, racing down the track. <laughs> Knitting so, competitions and stuff. It's so funny, though, because I think sports, like basketball, they're, they've become more than just a sport. I think it's more, like, nowadays, part of our culture, of where we live. Seriously, like, people get into fights over these things. Like, my team needs to win, so I'm going to fight you for my team. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. It's like, calm down, people. Calm down. You don't want to get too crazy over this. Yeah. And, I mean, basketball is an interesting sport. I think with most sports, they all have, like, super complicated rules and stuff. And I always wonder, like, how did somebody come up with these rules? How long would that have taken? Some of them, yeah. it's like a hundred years, you know. This sport has evolved. Yeah, I got new rules and things like that. But, I don't know, it's just cool. Because, like, you see a bunch of sports now today that, like, you've never heard of before. Like, yeah. I didn't even know that hacky sack was a sport. Really? Yeah, I just thought it was a sack full of beans or something. Which it is, <laughs> pretty much. But I just thought it was just a sack of beans and you didn't use it for anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also, also interesting is like seeing professional sports or like just kind of odd ones. Like, yeah, I don't know. Esports yeah. stuff is a little bit strange. Yeah, like video games is a sport. It's, uh, I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> I think juggling is a sport too. Yeah, and there's also like professional tag, and they have like obstacles, and they run super fast, dodging obstacles. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds funny saying that though. They but, should get yeah. a professional hide and seek championship. Oh, I bet that's a thing. Like, cause they're there's like chess boxing 
matches where you literally play chess for a certain amount of time and then you box for a certain amount of time. It's like the first to get checkmated or knocked out loses. It's like, what? That's the <laughs> strangest thing I've ever heard. Oh my gosh. It's so weird. Yeah, there's a lot of weird sports, but I feel like basketball is at the base of everything. Along with, you know, soccer and football and baseball. So. Well, American football and football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For other people, not American. Mm-hmm. Most of the world uses. <laughs> So then, our next topic for you guys today is on baking. Now, I love baking, to be honest. It, I'm not necessarily a mom, but you don't have to be a mom to bake things. A lot of guys bake and stuff, and oh my gosh. Every time I bake food and I eat it, I'm like, this was so worth it. Oh, yes. <sighs> Baking, I mean, it can fall into, there's like two different categories of baking. I feel like there's baking where you're using it for savory foods and then also sweet foods like cakes and cookies, you know? Yeah. And what I like about baking is, you're right, it doesn't, you don't have to be like a middle-aged woman to bake because however old you are, you can start. Yeah. If you really have a passion, you should go and follow it mm-hmm. if you if you want to do ballet and you're a guy go ahead for it because seriously ballet was invented by a couple of dudes <laughs> it's crazy yeah and i think baking it lets you be a little creative while still having order because it uses a lot of science so you have to have measurements of ingredients mix them together to make something yeah like this morning i made waffles and mm. they were so good. Uh, uh, but, I don't want waffles. like, it's all a science, to be honest. Because we have, like, a crusty's baking mix, you know. So you can make pancakes yeah. and waffles with it and rolls and things like that. But it's not just flour. It's also, like, a bunch of other stuff, too. But, you know, it's, yeah. all, it's all just a science. It really is. And it's weird to think about that because if you put it in the more category of cooking, which it is, but all cooking is like chemical reactions and stuff with some ingredients, and like just mixing them right. Very strange. <laughs> yeah. So, should we uh, get How going to it? our next segment then? Yeah, sure. Alright, our next segment today is going to be a movie review segment. Now, we were kind of thinking about what movie to do for a while, and then we finally decided to do The Incredibles, the first one. Yes, uh, yeah, no, not the second one. Now, the first one, <laughs> it's great. You know, it brings back a lot of childhood memories for me, to be honest, but I will say the second one, it wasn't bad. You know, it was a pretty decent movie. It just, I don't know, it just wasn't the same as the first one. Yeah. I think that time in between the first and the second movie was way too long. I think it was like somewhere around 12 to like 14 years. Yeah, it was that's like crazy. It's a long time. Because most kids that saw The Incredibles when it came out, would be like young adults by the time the next Incredibles came out. Yeah, when the first Incredibles came out, I was not alive. Yeah, and and still we watched it. What's even crazier is there was enough time for us to grow up, watch it while we were a little younger, like below the age of ten, maybe, maybe, maybe just over, and then have like a couple more years before the next one came out yeah that's how much time it took and now i don't see it just wasn't the same yeah but i think they did end it seeming like they could have another which i feel like always happens but i wonder if they will ever do another one 
I don't just want to be Jack Jack, grow up and use his powers. <laughs> yeah, because the first movie he didn't have any powers, and everyone's like, he's so gonna have powers. And then like ten years later, they're like, yeah, I don't think they're making another one. And then they did with Jack Jack. Yeah, he had powers. I mean, it showed it a little bit, but you're like, what powers does he? Like, what is his power? Yeah. At that point, it was more like, hey, you're gonna have one power and one power only. Well, kind of, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But then it kind of opened it up more for, like, yeah, there are more superheroes than just the Incredibles and the ones that showed in the first movie. No capes. <laughs> just don't wear a cape. <laughs> uh, the Incredibles is great. And uh, yeah. I would have to say that my favorite character out of everyone is definitely the insurer care guy. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> That's... Oh my gosh. I love Ned Tobes. Yeah. I don't know why. It's just very similar to like the boss to start, or also. Um, guy from Princess, The Princess Bride. Inconceivable, you know? <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> kind of crazy. Like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, and that guy's just a great actor overall. Yeah. He always goes, like, full on, you know? Yeah. Really takes it to the fullest. It's always funny it's to... Just awesome. Just see. Oh, and then there's the, the teacher who freaks out when... Uh, <laughs> Dash puts the tack on his chair. I think not. Not. <laughs> Bro, that would hurt so bad. Imagine sitting down and you feel like a needle just. Uh, ah. Oh, it just makes me hurt. <laughs> That'd be the worst. <laughs> okay, um. That's. About it. Shall we rate the movie? I would probably rate the movie. Wait, are we doing out of five or out of ten? Or out of a hundred? Two out of ten. Okay. Out of ten, I'd probably rate it like a nine. <laughs> Just because I feel like there was things that they could work on, you know, make better. But it was still overall just a really awesome movie. Yeah. I think I would rate it a 9.5 because the movie, the first movie was amazing, but then I don't really like how they continued it because it like, it changed the first movie just enough that you were kind of like, what? <laughs> because what? Cause it, it tried to explain some stuff that happened in the first movie, but it made it seem different so it kind of like took a little bit away from the yeah. movie in a, mm-hmm. in a bad way so but still the first movie is always going to be better I feel like that's the same for any movies except for some reason people like Shrek 2 better than the first one mm-hmm. so yeah, I don't know <laughs> very strange Yeah, it does depend on how well they keep to the roots of the first movies and then add new ideas. Because uh, you always want to have new stuff yeah. in the movies, but it's hard to add it without being mm. bad. So, uh, should we get, go into our yeah, next segment uh, then? Yeah, our next segment is we're going to do another guest before it, so 20 questions basically without a limit. <laughs> Um, today I will be guessing, and Tracen will be picking the word. Yeah, you got it. Alright, I got a word already. Okay, um... You just start guessing. Okay. Okay, how about this? First of all, just give me a category, so I'm not completely stuck. Um, I'd say... Mechanical electronic based sort of thing okay so let's see is your choice or is your word 
Um, uh, let's see. What's your word used in that car? Um, yes. Is your word car parked? No. Um, is your word something on the inside of the car? Yes. Um, is your word um, the radio? No. Is your word um is your word used for driving? No. Here, I'll give you a hint. It's not just in a car, but it, it is in some oh, cars. Okay. Yes. Is your word a speaker? No. So it plays. Yeah, it produces sound stuff, so. Okay, so it produces sound. Is it. Subwoofer? No. Hmm. This is tough. Let's see. Is your word... Would, it, well, would your word be used at, say, like, a concert? A concert? Yeah. No. Produces sound, but it also produces something else as well. Uh, oh, is your word engine? No. Let's see. Uh, is your word exhaust? No, it's that that's a car part. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, let's see. So you're saying it Yeah, sound. it's it's mostly an electronic. Um is your word word uh, headphones? No. Is your word in something smaller than a table? Um, it can be smaller and bigger than a table. There's different sizes. <laughs> okay, so that basically narrowed down. Oh, <laughs> um. I'll give you a hint. They're pretty big. They're about the size of a table. Big. So. Um. Is. Is it a horn? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I'm not sure. You got me on this one. So. <laughs> Alright, you wanna know what it is? Yep. TV because oh. it plays sound you can also find it oh, in some right. cars it's either smaller or bigger than a table and mm -hmm. yeah, I can see how that was confusing 
probably shouldn't have <laughs> yeah. said it's but, me mechanical. But. Well, it does make sense though. Yeah. I should have just thought about. Like, in our minivan that we have has a TV, so I don't know how I didn't think yeah. of that. Yeah. Well, yeah, you did good. Huh. And uh, okay. I think that's all the time we have for you guys today. So, uh, as always, stay random. Yep, stay random. We'll have more podcasts soon, so stay tuned. See you See later. Ya.